buttons and wools. He wasn't wearing any synthetics. Did you have any? I, uh, I happen to have on long pants, socks, and shoes, and a golf shirt. Mm -hmm. So it's your clothes can But he wasn't, he wasn't directly in the path of the fireball. Um, the people you're talking about were in row nine, which is there's an exit door right here, and then the first row of coach class uh, is right next to that exit door. And as the plane crashed, the exit door torqued and separated, and there was a fireball engulfing the whole plane. So that fireball came through the door, and the first two people in the aisle, I mean by the aisle there, were wearing synthetic clothes, and the, their clothes melted. Wow. And the next guy over, so it's two seats, five mm -hmm. seats, and two seats, the next guy across the aisle was John Transview, and he was wearing a businessman's suit, you know, wool, mm -hmm. cotton, floor shine shoes, and the fireball went past him and didn't, didn't hurt him. So it's important for our viewers to know there are certain things that you <coughs> should wear and should not wear. Closed-toed shoes. You don't want to wear sandals, no shorts, no short sleeve shirts. You wear cotton and wool and natural fibers and cover as much of yourself as you can cover. Even on a hot day, you should be. Even on a hot day, yeah. You should be wearing that type of clothing. And then when you get there, put your shorts on if you like. <laughs> yeah. I see people come in, in through O'Hare Airport. They're coming from Hawaii and they're in shorts and flip-flops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, because flying is so safe, they'll probably never have to worry about that. But if they were in a situation like Rod was in, it would be pretty disastrous. Wow. So that, it's, um, well, I know you weren't in the fireball, but at least you were wearing almost the right clothing, except for the short. <laughs> Completely accidental. Accidental, it but was it, not planned. It, it wasn't planned, <laughs> no. and, you know. And this this book is really, it's it's got so much in there. And there was one, there was um, one part that you, you were talking about on, about Barbara Walters that she wanted to talk about training airline pilots and um, and that also reminds me of Sully, Sully Sullenberg mm -hmm. who saved his passengers by knowing that he could that he oh I gotta wrap up my my directors are telling me to wrap up um, that he saved because he knew how to work a glided he knew how to fly a gliding a glided plane or a gliding he, he was a glider plane, pilot a glider pilot yeah and to the end of our show because it just ended. <laughs> <laughs>